Welcome back to the channel. My name is Usman. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the new LCDH Bolivar gold medal cigar. This is called the new gold medal, just in case you get it confused with the original, which is kind of a classic now, the Bolivar gold medal cigar. That cigar, uh, I never smoked it. And the reason why I never smoked it is because it was uh, way out of our price range back then. It's definitely out of our price range now, especially considering the price of this cigar here in the UK. I mean, it's expensive, but it's kind of kind of within reach in the uk over here they're like 105 pounds a piece so we're looking at about a thousand pounds for a box of these cigars so they are not inexpensive cigars these are fancy looking but definitely expensive cigars as well and uh, i thought i'd do a review on them because i've smoked a whole bunch of them the first one that i smoked was in curacao and uh, i smoked three more since then so in total i've smoked four this is going to be my fifth one so i've done like a detailed review on this cigar and i wanted to share my thoughts on the new lcdh bolivar gold medal now the only difference between this one and the original is that this is slightly thicker so the original six and a half inches long 42 ring gauge whereas the new lc DH version is six and a half inches with a 48 ring gauge so quite a bit thicker in comparison to the original and this is kind of leaning into that Churchill territory a Churchill size cigar is seven inches long 47 ring gauge so in terms of the amount of tobacco that you're getting in this cigar it's super super close like almost negligible in terms of the difference between this one and a Churchill size cigar so it is a fairly significant cigar it's quite a big jump I mean it's gone from like that Lonsdale-ish type size to inching into the uh, uh, the Churchill area in terms of like volume of tobacco that's what I'm talking obviously this is shorter this is slightly thicker it's not the same Vitolo I'm talking about volume of tobacco that you're getting from this cigar it's kind of inching into the uh, Churchill size cigar so this is one of the most beautiful looking cigars in terms of presentation I have to say love the look of these they look beautiful on social media but let's just be honest with each other this is just a little bit of gold paper there's nothing you know magical about this okay it's just a cigar wrapped in gold paper and as you smoke through it the paper comes off the band comes off and then it just looks like a normal cigar so let's get that hype out of the way let's just look at this as a cigar and that's what i'm going to try and do i'm going to review this as a cigar bearing in mind it is a pricey cigar here in the uk i think you can get it for quite a bit less in other countries but here in the uk this is expensive it's sought after there are lots of collectors that want this cigar and they get sold out really really quickly so yeah the bolivar new gold medal cigar let's cut this like this and get straight into this review so first thing you have to know is if you're gonna smoke this cigar and you want to post it on social media and you want to show off a little bit you don't take the whole paper off you gotta peel off just enough that you can cut the cigar so you can smoke it and people still know they're smoking a fancy expensive gold cigar <laughs> First few puffs on the Bolivar gold medal and this cigar starts off super, super mild, like almost bland on the first puff, like literally the first puff, this cigar has no flavor. Second puff, a little bit. Third puff, a lot more. And then fourth and fifth and then it builds up super, super quick. Like the buildup is like really steep, but that first and second puff, you kind of, you know, light it and you take a puff and you're like, this is black, this is nothing. Like you paid all this money for this junk. But no, it builds up very quickly. It's just kind of mild. Uh, the flavors build up very quickly though. The flavors are actually really nice on the beginning of this cigar. I've always enjoyed the beginning of this cigar. It's a fantastic start to a cigar. Just the first and second puff, you're gonna be like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> but this cigar, in terms of flavor notes, earthy, fruity, nutty. There's not a single hint of harshness or pepperiness or spiciness. It's a very smooth cigar, but earthy. It's heavy, like the smoke is heavy, it's dense, but there's no harshness to it. It's a smooth cigar, lots of like fruity, nutty, earthy flavors. And I really like that. I really, really like that. Beginning of this cigar, I have to say, great start on the uh, Bolivar New Gold Medal Cigar. Now, 
coming up to the uh, halfway point of this cigar the first band has come off and I've just been tearing down the gold paper so I can keep pushing it further further along the cigar so I don't have to take it off completely so you guys still know that I'm smoking this fancy cigar so this cigar builds up extremely well the beginning of this cigar it's mild there isn't a lot of strength the flavors are nice but it builds up halfway point is when this cigar really properly kicks in that's when like the strength comes in and for me i think that this cigar is i mean it's got some strength to it this is not like the typical bolivar bellicosa finos which you buy now off the shelf not i'm not talking about the older ones which were quite a bit stronger i'm talking about current production bolivar cigars those cigars are mild i can smoke them monday morning comfortable there's virtually no strength to them this is not that this cigar has some kick to it and i really enjoy it you take a puff halfway through and it's like mm, that's a chewy smoke really nice flavors the uh nuttiness is still there the uh the fruity flavors are kind of just just you know fading a little bit but it's still there and that earthiness heavy earthy flavors on this cigar it's not like a complex cigar i'm going to be honest with you this is not a complex cigar this is not like a super complicated cigar that you smoke him and you're like, oh yeah, it's got all these nuances. It doesn't. It's a very straightforward cigar in terms of its flavor profile. It's got a kick to it. It's heavy. You know, it's, I wouldn't say it's like, it's like a bulldozer because it's not that strong. Like it's not strong by any means. Like compared to many New World cigars, this is not strong at all. But compared to Cuban standards, this is, this is heavy. This is quite a bit heavier than any other Cuban cigar I've smoked in quite some time and I'm enjoying it. This is a nice change from many of the Cuban cigars that I've been smoking and I have to say, this is good. In terms of construction, burn, pretty much perfect. Uh, actually, that's not true. The burn, I've had to touch it up a couple of times. I don't knock off points for that, but you know, for some of you out there who, who don't like a cigar which has a crooked burn, this cigar, it's okay, it's okay. I've had to touch it up twice, nothing major. It's not been burning so wonky that it's annoying me. That's it's, it's nothing like that. In terms of its draw, it did become tighter as I got through to the halfway point, but then I just cut off a little bit and now it's opened up and all the flavors are starting to pour through again. So in terms of construction, overall pretty good. I don't have a great deal of complaints uh, in terms of construction, but uh, the draw is just a little bit more open than I would like to have on a cigar. That's the only downside I have on this cigar. Other than that, construction is pretty good coming to the final section of this cigar and uh, the bands have come off the papers come off oh no how am i going to show people on social media what cigar i'm smoking <laughs> jokes aside i actually really like the presentation of this cigar it stands out in the humidor, it stands out in the store, the box, the bands, everything. It's a really eye-catching cigar and I think that Abanos has done a fantastic job in terms of the presentation. Similar to the old gold medal, the current gold medal, it looks beautiful, definitely stands out. But let's be fair, the price tag is predominantly because of the presentation and not really the cigar itself. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cigar is a really good cigar. And I'm enjoying the hell out of these cigars. These are some really beautiful, nice tasting cigars. But, you know, the Bolivar Bellicosos Finos, still a fantastic cigar. And it's a fraction of the price of this cigar. The Royal Corona, again, brilliant cigar. And in terms of aging, I can't see this cigar turning into something, uh, aging into something incredible. And, you know, if you compare this to the other LCDs, the Bolivar Libertador, I think that cigar is probably going to age better in terms of what that tastes like, the profile and, and how good that cigar is. That cigar is probably going to be a better cigar long term after it's been aged compared to this cigar. This one, it's tasting great now. And in terms of its age, I can't see this mellowing down into something which is going to be beautiful, you know, because it's already quite smooth. It's already quite flavorful. And I think if this cigar is probably in danger of becoming overaged after a certain period and then it's just going to be like a dud cigar that's not going to taste much of anything i mean 10 years later i don't think this cigar is going to be something that is going to taste very much like anything but right now this is a really good cigar and if you can find it uh you know 
probably not here in the UK because it's really difficult to find at the moment, but if you can find this at a much lower price point, then yeah, definitely give it a go. Definitely worth buying maybe a box because it is a really, really good cigar. But I think this cigar is a little price sensitive in terms of its value for how good the cigar actually is. Collectors, you're probably going to like this. You know, you're probably going to love this because, you know, it's eye catching and people are going to see these and going to be like, oh my God, it's the gold medal. They look pretty. I need to buy them because it is it does have a bit of a magpie effect. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a bit of a mixed bag because I think that it's, a, it's just a little bit too pricey for what it is. But then in the same way, maybe it's worth it because of the fact that it does look so good that people want it so i don't know it's a bit of a conundrum really it's a bit of a uh, bit of a, a bit of a weird one but the cigar itself really enjoyable i don't think it needs a lot of age i think that you could probably pick these off the shelf now and you can smoke them and you're going to enjoy the hell out of them so yeah the uh, new lcd8 bolivar gold medal brilliant cigar definitely definitely one i would recommend if you can find it at a price which is far more reasonable than the current price here in the UK. Anyway, just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you.